Okay, first there was Thomas Edison with the light bulb. Well, actually, first there was the smoke Sylvanian Vasatskavan before the light bulb. Then there was Thomas Edison with the light bulb, and now the great Justin Evans with the yes, lumen. Yes, the, the lumen. Of the lumen. I get congratulations. Thank you, sir. Justin. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. I'm uh, having a great time. And then I came upon your invention, and I was beside myself with amazement. How, how did you invent this second? Well, I've always been a low-budget filmmaker myself. I'm a director cameraman. And I was fed up with having to choose between either renting huge generators and lots of cables and all the frustrations of that um, and lighting a film well or abandoning all that and looking like most independent movies which are underlit and grainy and, and so I, there had to have been a way to, to solve it. It was mostly just two years of trial experimentation and, and determination to come up with something that, that was simpler. And that's all I was focused on. Was well, we, we don't like to be underlit, that's for sure. Absolutely. We're always lit. I built my first model out of a trash can and used it on a short film uh, that I wrote and directed and was the cinematographer on called Saturday Night Special. Um, that prototype was enough to convince a group of investors that, uh, that the concept would work um, and then they came in with the investment money and we hired a group of engineers to, to help bring the, the design further along. Well, what happens if you keep looking into the lumen? Will it actually hurt your eyes like an die. incandescent? If you no, look no, into no, the no. lumen? It doesn't do anything. All, all it does is, you know, blow out your irises for a few seconds like any other light. Like nice. staring at the sun when you're on LSD. And what's yeah. the secret of keeping it cool? Nice and cool. That, we're just lucky that, that, that compact fluorescent bulb manufacturers have made bulbs this big. That's what we're just taking the advantage of compact fluorescents and incredibly silent computer fans that we use on the back. We use the most expensive fans on the market. Oh, look at these fans. The fans have been running the whole time, but you can't hear them. So it's these two fans here. Nice quiet um, fans. They look like computer fans. Yep. And Everyone these fans needs their are so fans. quiet that you can actually shoot sync sound with the fans on. But if for some reason you're shooting in an incredibly silent sound stage, just turn the fans off. If you don't take into account the small electrical cables, the elimination of a generator, faster moving crew, it still pays for itself within two weeks because it's one third the price of HMIs. And so even if we're just renting an HMI, you'd spend about, on a 575 watt HMI, it's about 150 a day, three day week is 450 a week. At the end of two weeks, you spent $900 and this is $1,100. So you can't afford not to buy a room. That's correct. Not so we want to eliminate the rental market. We I'm want sorry. people to think of lights as something you buy. And because you can stack them on top of each other, it doesn't take up any space. It's 16 inches in your garage. Absolutely fantastic. The lumen register. You could get one of these, a couple of these, three, make a movie like uh, Cecil B. DeMille's masterpieces. Maybe we put some lumens up in here. I wouldn't mind. <laughs>